You know, I enjoy growing huge plants, but growing indoors, large plants cost quite a lot to grow. So when I grow indoors, I started scaling down to smaller plants. I started using smaller systems, such as this AeroGarden Bounty with 40 watts and between one and two gallons of water. And while I've enjoyed quite a bit of success with uh, several different uh, vegetable plants, what I've found is there is an alternative. In terms of maintenance, the six gallon size of this system has helped out. I do not have to refill it as much. However, it is a case of having to have a little bit more light, and I run 100 watts over these uh, grow pails. You know, if you look at this system, I have four tomato plants in it, and the 40-watt uh, bounty, I would have had two. I have enjoyed this for growing uh, larger plants. It does seem to provide a little bit larger size and greater productivity. I have also found that I can mix plants uh, more easily in these systems than I can with the air gardens. The uh, one that you see here has uh, two cucumber clones as well as a pepper plant. So I started to think about, based on how much I'm eating, is it possible to go even smaller on some of these plants? I tried a variety of romaine lettuce that was called rosane. It was successful. The beautiful red uh, heads of the uh, romaine were quite compact. Uh, they were just small enough that I could fit them in the palm of my hand. Did not provide a lot of salad material. So in terms of scaling back on lettuce, I have not switched varieties. I'm still growing the uh, Super Jericho, which is one of the larger varieties. And because of its rapid growth, I could harvest it earlier and replant. And that would help me out with having my continual supply of lettuce. Because compared to store bags, the uh, fresh grown lettuce does tend to store a lot longer than what you'd find when you bring home lettuce from a store. So with that in mind, when it comes to uh, tomato plants, I've currently picked a gallon bag of cherry tomatoes. I'm looking at a more diminutive uh, variety called red velvet. If I can grow the red velvet uh, tomato plant, one in an air garden sprout, or perhaps uh, two to four in an air garden bounty, I wouldn't have to prune as much, and I would have a steady supply of smaller tomatoes that wouldn't uh, drink as much water as the uh, massive red heirloom variety on the uh, right hand side. And for anyone who has grown uh, cucumber plants, you know that the uh, vines are quite massive as well. Just these uh, two cucumber clones that have been growing in here have produced 40 cucumbers, you know, with eating cucumbers on salads or sandwiches, that uh, keeps me uh, quite busy trying to consume all the cucumbers that these plants are producing. I am starting to grow another variety of cucumber plant as a test, and these tiny cucumber plants do not take up as much real estate, do not require as much light as what I just showed you with the piccolini. This is a quick snack variety, and remarkably, you can see that it's starting to throw off uh, cocktail size cucumbers already at that size and this cucumber plant does not need pollinated it's parthenocarpic and perfect for indoors then in regards to pepper plants this uh, orange pepperoncini is going to be a little bit uh, taller than a compact plant but you know in terms of growing hot peppers I did grow a variety called New Mex Easter, and I was able to grow three of those in a 20-watt garden successfully and had peppers for several months. So if I can grow lettuce, tomatoes, cucumbers, peppers in smaller spaces and smaller gardens, I wouldn't have to have as much equipment. And for other people who are looking for small amounts of produce, you wouldn't have to buy as much equipment and you can enjoy many of those plants with very little maintenance in a small space in your house or office. So hopefully this will be something that will be helpful for anyone who doesn't need 
larger amounts of those crops.